So oh, shit, dude. It's like Stevie or Foggy over. Shit's creepy. But yeah, it does give me a kind of almost a Silent 2 feel. Uh, mind you, I've never played Silent Hill 2. I've just watched playthroughs simply because everyone says don't play the HD version. And after seeing the HD version, I agree. Uh, <laughs> and I don't have access to get uh, the other. Damn it. Just got a surprise. Ooh, giggity giggity. It'll be a good surprise, I hope. Oh, and I just want to mention, too, how cold is it that Alan has to wear what looks like four layers of clothing, maybe? Seriously. He's going to be freaking hot. Ooh, pants. Yeah. Ooh. Giggity giggity. Come on. Go take a look. But. Okay. We, we got a Chris in this place, Alice. Come on. I mean, you're in your panties, for God's sakes. Fine. Damn it. Uh, I want that surprise. Son of a bitch. Ooh. Surprise. Typewriter. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn, Alice, you... Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Ooh, Alan? did you see that? Alan? See it again? Don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. A little mean there, don't you think? I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> Not the nicest way to go about that, you know, pushing her out of the way. Damn it. <sighs> Alice? Shit's gone down! The lights were out. Alan! Alan! I'm coming, I'm coming! Help! Alan! I'm coming! Ah, oh, you Alan! fucking birds! No! What the hell? Alan! Help me! I'm coming! I, I'm just out of shape, hold on! Alan! Oh fuck! I'm coming! No! No! Alice? Alice? Well, that's all good. Gotta give him points though. Very courageous. Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? You know what points he loses for being an asshole? He makes up for, you know, literally jumping in to get his wife. I felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. Well, actually, you have. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. All right, then we will find help. Whew. Gotta help a bender there, huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. <laughs> the gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Eh, not terribly long hike. Fairly long, but. Whoop. There's the fucking car. Shit. 
Hope you had insurance if that was a rental. If I get there you go. Oh yeah, I can jump for about that. I don't know. Personally, I'd be psyched if I found a fucking if someone gave me a typewriter. Oh. That'd be great. Alright, but let's keep on going, shall we? Woo! Hello? That is bright! Hello? Is someone there? Pages. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled The Future. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Good. I found a manuscript page, X them with the back button. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. All right, well, let's get our ass to the gas station then, shall we? I'm pretty sure I do have all the pages, so I'm not really sure they're gonna show up. Ooh. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Uh, but regardless, we will listen to all of them probably at the end of the episode, because that is how this game works. It works in a uh, episode breaks, kind of like you're watching a TV show. So there's that. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Maybe. Or maybe they're just luring you in, Mr. Wake. You gotta think about that. Oh, wait. Maybe they do still pop up. Neat. Do they? Barry took another sip of the heavenly coffee. He grinned at Rose. Surely this was love. Rose gushed on breathlessly. The new one will be a masterpiece, I know it. You must tell him not to listen to the trolls in the forum saying departure will never get finished. He should take his time and make it perfect. I can wait. <laughs> Alright. I really just need to hit the back button again, though. Get a little bit easier. Careful. Whoop. And there you go. Hello? Anybody there? Please. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please, to beat you. non reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. <laughs> Shit's getting weird. Oh, I need the flashlight and a gun. Pretty badly. All right. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. There we go, that's better. Oh, fuck! Oh. Almost. Almost got me. Great. It's getting weird. Shit. Oh, go, 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 Alan, go. Go, 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 get the light, get the light. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Oh, God. Yeah. A flashlight. Sponsored by Energizer, apparently. <laughs> 
Uh, batteries, yes. I love how they're energized batteries. Regardless if they have a sponsor or not, I mean, it's... I mean, it just helps make it real, since, you know, this is happening in the real world. Yes. Bastard! Hello? You can see the sights and Oh crap, we gotta go out there, don't we? This is bad. Oh, that's very bad. Can I just get out, please? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh damn. Damn. Oh, that might not be enough to actually kill you, but... The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hoped Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. That's probably a good idea. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, thank you, Gate. Load. Oh fuck. Just gotta be careful with my fucking batteries here. My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. All right. Got a stash with a flare gun. All right, and th these stashes are all over the game, so you can pick them up pretty frequently. It's just a matter of finding this, you know, yellow sh uh, paint shit that is, of course, only illuminated by a light source. Because kicking it works. Guess it does. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Yeah. It's duck season. Yeah. Teach you what season it is, motherfucker. Oh wait, get there. You go. I think I saw. Yep, there it is. Cool. Uh, Rose Day dreams about wake. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Oh. Need to remember to hit the right button there. So you got a crazy, crazy fan there. But whatever. Well, I shouldn't say she's crazy, but very... Uh, I, I don't know. Medical? Is that the right word? Nothing here? Okay, fuck. Alright, well let's keep going. Let's get through this fucking dark forest here, shall we, Wake? Well, we find your manuscript pages that are apparently all over the goddamn place. Ooh. Ooh. Creepy. What the hell was that? I don't know. What do I find out, though, shall we? Oh, shit's gonna get weirder. Uh, oh, yeah, but like I was saying like 20 minutes ago uh apparently this game was talked about you know of course it was talked about damn it below. something uncoiled itself inside my head i realized that i'd have to find a way across i didn't even want to look at the water but uh you know when this game was originally talked about it, apparently it was want to go in a whole different direction than what it is now 